please stand for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Teachers, please take attendance and do a quick dress code check. Thank you. Make sure you put your lanyard around your neck at all times. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I've been eating way too many fried chicken sandwiches. I'm gonna have to run this off. What's better than running? Sprinting! Let's go! All right, Whew. Students at Southport's sixth grade academy and middle school will be participating in the second annual Southport Sprint on Friday, September 2nd. The Southport Sprint is an event to raise money to help support all the PTSA sponsored programs and events for students, staff, and families of Southport. Here's how it works. Each of you will receive a manila envelope that looks like this. From now until September 9th, you are encouraged to ask friends and family to pledge money for the number of laps you plan to run or to pledge a fixed dollar amount. On average, students run or walk about five to eight laps. For example, say I go to my friendly neighbor and ask if she'd be interested in pledging any money. If she says yes, she will write her name under sponsor name. Select the amount that she would like to pledge and identify how she'd like to pay. In this case, Karen, my friendly neighbor, decided to pledge a fixed amount and elected to write a check to Southport Middle School PTSA. I will collect that check and put it in my, in my envelope. Now, my other neighbor wants to motivate me to run as many laps as possible, so she has decided to pledge $5 per lap. I will have to wait to collect money from her until after September 2nd. On the morning of September 2nd, students will head outside and run as many laps as possible in 20 minutes. SMS students will run on the track and Southport Academy students will run the perimeter of the bus lot. After completing the run, I will write the number of laps I completed at the bottom of my manila envelope. Then I will calculate how much money I need to collect from my sponsors. My neighbor, the motivator, pledged $5 per lap. Since I ran five laps, I need to collect how much? That's right, $25 from her. She can choose to pay with cash, check, or square. To pay with square, all you need to do is scan the QR code at the bottom of the envelope. Once all the funds are collected, you will find your grand total and write it at the bottom of the envelope. If your total is over $15, you will need to add your shirt size. Now you might be wondering, what do I get out of this? Well, on the back of the Southport Sprint Flyer, you will find all the prizes you can earn. There will also be prizes for the top earner and top runner in each grade. All right, Cardinals, I got to get out of here. I need to start training for the Southport Sprint so I can earn the title of top runner. Let's go. Remember to return your library books within two weeks of checking it out. You can find a book return in the upper A-Wing hallway just outside the main entrance of the library or at the drop slot by the circulation desk. Keep reading, Cardinals! The Lady Cardinals volleyball teams won both matches last night against Speedway in two very well-played sets. The seventh graders played together as a team and swept the spark plugs two sets to zero with their consistent serving and great team spirit. The eighth grade team fought a tough battle with the spark plugs, winning the set two games to one. Aliana Parr led the team with an outstanding defensive performance, and Marley Chafin did a fantastic job running the offense. The Lady Cards play tonight at Clark Pleasant. Go Cards! Please be sure to take your Chromebooks home each night to charge them so you'll be ready for the next school day. Keep soaring high, Cardinals! Have a great day, Cardinals!